Hello beautiful people, how are you all doing? Hope you are doing great. You are welcome to Joy Uzo TV. If this is your first time of coming across my video, you are very welcome. In this video, I will be showing you how I made this front tap from start to finish using expression attachment. If it sounds like something you are interested in, then keep watching. The last time I made a teapot fronter, but this time I'm making the regular fronter. Okay guys, this is the wig cap I'm going to be using. If you want to see how I prepped the wig cap, I'm going to leave the video in the description box. I placed the nylon bag under it so the holes will be visible. So I'm going to be using attachment color 2 and I cut it into 5. I'm going to stretch it out. I already started ventilating off camera and this is how far I have gone. I have gone almost halfway. I started by picking 3 strands. I ventilate on one hole, skip one hole, ventilate on the next hole. Then I ventilate on one line, skip one line, then ventilate on the next line. Before I got to the middle, I was picking three strands. Then at the middle, I started picking two strands. Then at the front, I will be picking a strand of hair to make it look very natural. If you don't know how to ventilate, I uploaded a video on how to ventilate using a slow motion. So I'm also going to be leaving that video in the description box, the link. So you can click it if you are interested in knowing how to ventilate. I already started picking two strands. You can see that the knot at the back is kind of a little bigger than the one at the front now. So guys, we are already at the front. You can see the airline. So I'm just, it's just like a guideline. So I'm just ventilating through the hairline. Like I said before, if you want to see how I prepped uh, the wig cap, I'm going to drop the video in the description box. In the same video, I also showed how to draw a perfect airline for your fronter. I have started picking one strand. You can see the difference from the back and the front uh, ventilation.
I am done guys you can see what the frontal is looking like the next thing I'm going to do is to remove the eyebrow pencil on the wig cap and then I put in hot water so I will be showing you how you can remove the eyebrow pencil on your lace I'm using a hair shampoo I just wanted to put it on the lace and wash it with my hand and see if it will go but unfortunately it did not go away To remove the eyebrow pencil on the lace, I will be using shampoo and the sponge, not the very hard sponge. So I'm just going to wash it off from the inside of the lace, not on this, the outside that I ventilated on the inside and it will remove both from the inside and the outside. So do not wash it on the part that you ventilated on at the front wash it at the back as you can see the brow pencil is out but I'm just going to rinse it off with cold water. I like to dry a little so you can see how it's looking. Now it's dried, you can see how it's looking. There is no more eyebrow pencil on it. So the next thing I'm going to do is to put the hair in hot water, adding a little conditioner. Guys, the hair is fully dried. This is what it's looking like. So natural. I'm going to be using this wig cap, I mean the frontal for a braided wig. And the video will be coming up soon. If you found this video helpful, please do not forget to subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Share to your friends and family, comment down below what you think about the outcome and also like and follow my page. If you are a returning subscriber, you guys are the boss. Thanks for always stopping by. I do really appreciate your support. Thank you. God bless you. Feel free to check out my other videos and I will see you in my next video. Love you!